Hi crafty friends, Mary here. I'm working on my card submission for Craft Roulette's episode 116. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. This is going to be a quick card. It's not going to be a process video. Um, but it's going to be kind of an assembly video, a really quick card. Um, the parameters for this, um, for episode 16 are pop-up for project. For colors are neutral and um, plus one, so neutral plus one. Element is light or lights, and random is outside the line. So, I started thinking about it, obviously, last night after the show, and I watched the show after the fact, because I was out, uh, we were out during the show. Um, started thinking about it, obviously, I initially thought about light bulbs and that kind of stuff um even ladybugs because mary was talking about ladybugs and i do have some ladybug digital stamps that are very cute but i i was not really leaning towards that at all so then i realized i had um, a stamp that i have not used by um simon says of a sun and a moon and um I went with in that direction because the sun provides light and so does the moon. Um, and I thought, well, I could do a neutral background of either dark gray, gray, black kind of thing. And then against a really yellow, bright sun. And that would give me my um, two of my parameters, I think, the light and the neutral and then I could um, do the sun, stamp the sun and either watercolor it outside the line or ink it outside the line, giving me another parameter. And then, um, you know, cut it out and pop it up with foam dimensional and that would give me the fourth parameter. So I was kind of playing around that with my head and coming up with designs. So I think that that's the, not I think, I know, that's the direction I went with. And here's the stamp. And it was the first time I used this stamp. And I don't know, I mean, where's the name of the stamp? It's called um, Sun and Moon Mandela. And it's the first time I used this stamp. And it's a six by six cling. And when I peeled it off the carrier sheet, the plastic carrier sheet, um, part of the the lines the you know the design lines came with it so now it kind of is a mess from a you know from a um design stamped on the stamp so i mean it's it doesn't ruin the stamp the stamp can still be seen but it's kind of a bummer i've never had that happen to to a stamp before um so i mean not a biggie but you know it is what it is so but that's the stamp that i used and the way this <clears throat> oh man my voice the way the stamp is is um it comes in three parts it's already cut excuse me <coughs> it's already cut um the foam is already cut or the the rubber the red rubber um so you can stamp the three parts individually and this part um is already um pre-cut so that you can stamp the sentiment also individually or the sentiment, not the, you know? Um, and I did, I stamped the outer ring, the sun part and the moon separately, and I'm not using the sentiment. Um, I'm actually not gonna put a sentiment on the, my card um, at this time. And if I do, I think this, I'm, I'm not sure what sentiment I'll do. Um, because if I just had, um, I thought about using, you make me happy when skies are gray uh, since my background is going to be gray, so we'll see about that. But yeah, so that's the stamp that I used. And here are my component. This is my uh, top loading A2 card. Um, my background piece, my panel, which is dark gray, uh, not dark gray, it's just, um, I would say, uh, medium tone gray, not super light, not super dark. And then here's my sun um, uh, element. And it's a six by six stamp, so it's pretty big. So it's gonna go off the page. So I'm, I'm gonna probably put it in like that. I thought about going with a uh, five by seven card, but I decided against it. I decided just to keep it at an A2. 
uh, for the purposes of this card, it will be fine. And how I got the sun colored is I used two shades of yellow. I used Distressed Ink, which are really my go-to inks. They're one of two um, color inks that I have. In I have um, very old Stamping Up ink, like very old, like over 20 years old, um, that I seldom use. I have a few Hero Arts color inks, and those I use every once in a while. But I, my go-to inks are really distress inks. Um, so I used uh, Squeeze Lemonade and Mustard Seed. And what I did is I covered the whole thing in Squeeze Lemonade, and then I took Mustard Seed, and, and instead of um, blending it, I kind of tapped it with my... Um, with my um, With my brush I tapped it and to get like little highlights and um, for the for the um, cutout I don't have the die for it I don't even know if there was a die for it to be honest um, what I did was I went after stamping it I took the um, the this the, the the stamp itself, I positioned it over it, and with a pencil, I drew around it. If you notice, the stamp has um, kind of not a sh not a shadow, but it you know it's not quite flush to the image. So by doing that, you get kind of a halo around the stamp, and it allows you to have um, enough to cut out and get kind of a border around it. And that's what I did. In some areas, I trimmed it a little bit more than others but and but it gave me more than enough um, area to show that I had gone outside the line and in this case it's a sun so you would expect the sun rays or the sun glow the sun's glow to go outside um, so so I'm really happy with how that turned out and then for extra bling and stuff I think I sprayed it with um, shimmer this shimmer by um, Imagine, Imagine Crafts, and it's the Frost. No, it's not the Frost. It's the Sparkle. It's the Sparkle. That's the I, ha, I was using the other the other one. So that's my next element, and then for my Moon, um, I did two things. I um, inked it with um, Hickory Smoke for my gray, and. Um, I was going to keep it white, but then I decided to uh, do gray. Um, I'm kind of regretting that. I, I think maybe I should have kept it white because white is a neutral color. So, but overall, I'm, I'm rolling with it. Um, and then I took um, these um, glitter drops, and I've been using these as almost um, liquid glitter. So I just put a little dab of it on a cardstock, and then I just, with another extra piece of uh, of cardstock, I just kind of painted it on, you know, kind of like um, squeeze it on, like with a palette knife almost, but only with paper, so that I could just throw it away. Um, and so I got a really good coating of glitter and sparkle on the whole piece. And I did the same thing um, for, to, you know, for the, to cut it out, to cut this one out. I also used the, um, I also flipped the stamp upside down and did a pencil drawing to get the, the shadow and then cut it out. And also, so when I inked it, I inked it outside the line. So I have two elements going outside the line and then when I will put it out here I will mount it and that will and I'll mount the sun too to the panel and that'll be the pop-up element um so so two things so now let me uh, clear out this this a little bit and let's get um these assembled oh this one it's not working so so overall, you didn't really miss a lot of stuff by the process video because it was a, some stamping and some inking, really. I'm 
not sure why. Car panel is not quite done. Um, Get all that extra white spaces off of it. cut these a little off when I uh, created that card basis. Okay. Oh, I guess I need that to cut my son. So I'm going to go with I think I'm going to go with it like that. And then this here. Trim that off. side of tape and pop this baby up. Yeah, I think that's pretty much, that's pretty good. Just a little piece over here. And that should be fine.
Come on. I'm taking it up so I don't have to cut rays of the sun on both the top and the bottom. I'm just going to cut it on the top. There we go. So now that's popped up. So that's, and now I'm going to do the same thing with the moon. And that goes there. No, I think pull it up. I think I'm gonna go with it more like that. And I will get rid of a little bit of it. Like that. Yeah, I like that. There we go. I like that. I got a little bit of the yellow uh, from the because there was a little in, on the paper that I was using to swipe the glitter right here. There was a little yellow on it when I, so I got it, when I was doing this, I got a little bit of the yellow and it transferred into the, into the moon, but that's okay. So now I'm gonna open it up and since I have this little piece of the sun, I'm gonna use that inside. No, I think I'm going to do it on the side. Let me cut off a little bit over here. There we go. So now the sun is inside too. This is very not... So I like that, but it needs a couple of little other things. Let me get some gems and stuff. These are from the paper studio and these are the, um, do they say what kind? No, they don't say they just look very um multicolored of uh, boris you know like um i don't know i'm gonna go with the big one right there 
do another big one someplace else, like over here. Maybe do I want to do a big one in here? Yeah, there we go. And some little ones. number there we go that's it I think I'm calling it done that's my card simple but I think I got all my parameters in let's review I'm looking at my um, at the video right now with the um, parameters so we're looking at a pop-up, and I have two elements that I popped that that I popped up: the sun and the moon. Neutrals plus one, grays and yellow um, lights. The moon and the sun both have provide us with light. Uh, the moon provides us with light in the evening, in the in at night, and the sun provides us with light in the in the day. Um, and outside the line, uh, the sun. I colored it um, outside the line. My coloring um, spills outside the line, and so does the moon in some cases. So I have met all my parameters, and I am very happy with this card. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with the card. Um, sorry that I didn't do a process video for it, uh, but it was a very simple card, and it was really just coloring and stamping and coloring or inking with three inks, two yellows and a gray. Um, so um, it is what it is. Thank you for tuning in to see the assembly part of the card. And until next time, take care. Bye.